Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, let's have a look what happened in the last... Oh! Okay, we got wrecked by a whole group of rampaging deer. <laughs> oh, poor Yavana. Okay. Uh, okay, so we got got some strategy. Thank you to Mary Discusser again for a detailed comment. With some really, really good advice. So, what Mary Discusser was saying was that we really want to try and get one of those Mar uh, Marriott Generals again. Uh, the one that kind of died early on as we were trying to make the race to close the gate. Uh, that guy is fireproof and he can summon fireproof troops. He was also recommending don't build so many, you know, kind of chaffy units anymore. Just stick with the Bandar. Um, I do quite like the uh, the Atavi. I think the Atavi are really useful to be able to hide in, in, in forests. So I probably will still be making with Atavi. But yeah, I, I think we do now we need to be focusing on sort of the more powerful troops. I do agree. Um, there, there is something to be said in Conquest of Elysium about about having lots of little stacks, and that is very, very powerful. Um, it's oh no, it's a really effective tactic. However, um, I think you know they're not. That's not going to be a very effective. Wow, sorry, I just I, that was amazing. Watch that again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be a very effective tactic against big stacks of of, de of flame throwing demons, basically. So we've got to figure out a way of. I'm gonna get Jan Janaswami. In fact, yeah, we'll keep. Sorry, I'll keep the uh, the Atavi separate. I think. Um, we, there, yeah, we the smaller armies aren't going to be so useful against. Yeah, that was the demon lord there, wasn't it? Let's just keep these guys going up this way then. Um, yeah, it's not going to be a, a very effective against large stacks of demons. Let's get back down towards the uh, destroyed gateway. Now there is that. Um, yeah, let's get some of these guys up. Now, these Naga are going to be poison. Poison throwing. Yeah, they got poison spit. Uh, but they are in the front line. We should be okay, I think. Yeah, we've just got... Uh, these are just Naga. So they got poison spit, mesmerize, which, confu which causes confusion, and magic sword. Yeah, these, these are good. These are pretty good. We've got quite high MR as well, and reasonable, uh, reasonably good morale too. Okay, let's get Buddha Gupta. I'm going to get him moving up towards here. And yeah, I think we'll we'll move back down towards this gate. We're just gonna we're gonna have to keep near to the gate just to keep 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 figuring out what's going on there now. Virendra here is just going to do some exploration. I'm trying to get a sense for how big this map is. I think this is, this must be about the middle. Maybe this is about the middle. Yeah, you have to remember this is the first time I've played on a very, on a huge map. I don't think I've done it on this one before. So. Okay. I'm starting to get a sense that we are getting, you know, there is a lot of the map that's still unexplored. Okay, we have got quite a lot of cash, so let's start getting up some uh, decent troops and get some Bandar archers up. Um, oh yeah, also have the advice to buy to buy gems now. I think I do like the Bandar troops, and yeah, they okay. So they they're not the best troops against against demons, but just for a little while, I want to get a decent I want to get a decent stack of some good troops because Bandar will actually stand up to oh, this is the succubus's army i think here uh yeah bandar troops will will stand up better than the rest so i'm i'm going to keep the iron on for a bit but then i'm going to switch to one of the just so that i can get some de you know a decent stack up somewhere because the uh the the sacred troops are good but they need to be mixed in amongst amongst other troops as well that's one thing I think, I think about the Monkey Maharaja class. You need to make use of the sacred troops. I think they're I think they're there to be used right through to the late game. Okay, we've got a Hedge Wizard and a Scarlet Sister available. Yeah, we must have some libraries. Um Scarlet Sister is probably a better mage. But we can afford them both, so. We've got five the Scarlet Sister. Where should we get them? So we've got the old castle ruin here. Uh, that might be a good place. Yeah, let's get those two up together. So we've got uh, Morail, the Hedge Wizard. 
It actually came with a magic lamp. That's a really good. That's a really good item. You start with an air elemental at the start of the battle. That's a really good item. Uh, he's also got poison web and summon wolf. That's another really good spell. That he that he was a good buy. Then we've got uh, fire the scarlet sister. Fire resistant sleep enchanted. Oh, she's got fire ward look. Oh. Wow. Okay. Right. So we can. I mean, look, she's got the uh, she's got the faithful with the lucky sword as well, and the astrolabium grants twist fate effects at the start of each battle. So that's also really good. So fire the scarlet sister. She could be critical to our to our strategy. We need to build up some troops around her. I think. Um, so yeah, let's get more of these heavy bandar archers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build up some bandar archers around here, and this this is a good this is a good group now. I think I might give Mariah. Mar um, I might give this one to the to her, so that she's kind of kitted, kitted out, just in case anything happens to him in a, in a battle. Well, it doesn't really matter because I guess this comes up, this pops off at the front of, at, the, at the beginning of the game, so or the beginning of the battle, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a really good find. That is great news. Okay, now we don't want to put all our pin all our hopes on that one strategy, but uh, yeah, she's she's going to be quite useful. Let's get Son of Benjamin up that way, and we'll see if we can rendezvous up there. Now, yeah, we want to, yeah, we, I think we've got enough resources. Let's get back within range. Oh, look what we found. Now, I think we can win this battle. The problem is that that is good. It, the, the, uh, the, um, the doppelgang, which is this one, you can't see it here, but it's got an attack that does like an assassin attack. We've got to be careful because it, it tends to hit the back lines. So we could lose our mage, which I don't really want to lose. We're just going to get these guys uh, re uh, moving around again. Now I'm going to get uh, Janus Swami is going to be moving ahead as a as a scout, I think. We'll get Buddha Gupta going up this way. And Musa and his small group. Let's just move through the forest here and see what we'll, see what we can find to the east. And Aravinda and Vishnu are going to head that way. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, well, there, there goes that plan then. <laughs> well, that's that then. Let's see what we can do. Not a lot, I don't think. The Bandar archers might be able to kill something, maybe. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, it just popped out of nowhere. Now, did we kill anything? We didn't kill anything, so yeah. All right, well, so much for that. We'll get another opportunity, I guess. Um, we're going to still have to move up this way. Let's let's get the uh, other Atavi up this one, or this direction. Ah, oh, that's really frustrating. I thought that was a really good idea, but never mind. So much for that. Oh, is that the vampire? Let's get the Akashic summoning up. Okay, so we've got a, Mar a Marat anyway. So this guy is uh, fireproof. He's got fire resistance, shock resistance, or he's a combat caster. He's flying and he's a ritual caster. He's a really good. He's really good. Um, and we need to get him to start summoning stuff now. So he's got Ruby summoning. Okay, so this gives us one. D I think it's one D two plus one. I think that's what. Um, I think that's what Mary Discusser said. Uh, it's really good that I've got people who are who are much better at this game than I am. <laughs> Been able to figure out what's going on. Okay. Yeah, let's. We're, we're going to keep these together for now. Now we've got to be careful not to go too close to Stonekeep here, where that massive demon army is. Let's go and head this way, and we'll pick up these villages that we uh, lost control of. The uh, witch is still raiding me quite a lot. Now, if we can take the witch out of the game, we're, we're going to be close to winning. I don't know who is who we still got. Yeah, it's just the witch and one more and yellow, who are, whoever yellow is. And I reckon yellow is probably building up quite a large, a large force of troops, uh, kind of relatively, relatively untouched. We might buy some ruby. I think we, if we go for the rubies now, let's buy the rubies and we'll get more of these in. So 
Let's just keep away from that ancient forest. It's likely to be garrisoned. Okay. I'm tempted to take this witch army out. I wonder if I can do it. I think I'm going to do it, yeah. Um, we will be able to kill them. That should, that should be a fairly easy battle, I'd say. And um, it's just running around and being a bit of a pain. No. I think going through that rainbow might be a problem. I think there might be something up there. Okay, Buddha Gupta needs probably to come down this way now to reju rejoin that group. Doesn't really have enough troops with him to, you know, to be very safe, I don't think. Okay, there goes that demon lord. Greater demon. Okay, we didn't get any we didn't get any attacks in at the start. Oh yeah, it is a doppelganger though. Yeah, I didn't see any um did we actually get attacked at the start? No, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna take some poison damage here, I'm afraid, folks. But that's the way that it goes. Let's get rid of these things. Now they do have a lot of archers and our uh, Yuvana are kind of they're a little bit susceptible to arrows, unfortunately. Now they've got enough hit points so they should be able to survive one one load of poison. Let's just see how we uh hopefully we won't too, lose too many at the end of the battle. He had a lot of doppel spawn uh, just kinda of hanging around with him. Yeah, we got this easy job. Let's just hopefully we just don't lose too many troops. I think we're gonna lose this Naga here. Oh, we didn't take all the Naga with my, uh, with the other uh, commander. Okay, so we lost a Makata, two, two Yuvana and a Yuvana, Archer and a Naga. Okay, that's not the end of the world. And we found an Amulet of Hate. Okay, who's got the Amulet of Hate? Hold on, this is the wrong guy. This is Son of Benjamin Monkey, sorry. Um, oh, there we are, it's Rama. That gives him Charm, Immunity, Berserker. Uh, I don't think he wants to have that. Let's give this Magic Resistance to... Um, give it to him. He can keep the Shaman Staff. I don't think he wants the Amulet of Hate, though. So, I'll probably give that to... I'll give that to one of these, one of these guys. Okay. Uh, Buddha Gupta is going to move down this way. Uh, yeah, so... Just need a little bit more time to get some more of these gems up. Let's just kill these boar, just so they're not a threat to our other army. Okay, we've got some dwarves there. I'm going to leave those alone for the time being. Yeah, this is another force look. Uh, this is, I think this is that main one. This is the main demon army. Look at these. We've got so many magic items on them. Bloodstone ring. Wow. That's one good thing about Inferno. If you can survive it, you can get a load of good items out of it. And that is really, really cool. Yeah, um, we'll just take those deer out. Um, so any of our gems up that in that direction have we? No. Let's go and get that gold stream back, assuming that it's something we can take. Uh, there might be a reason why I've not got it. Uh, I don't remember what was in there now. I'm not too worried about uh, battles with boars. Or boar. It's the plural of boars. <laughs> boar. Boar is a plur plural of boar. Okay, we've got, um, we can take these cavern guard out here. Oh, I don't know, I think that might be too many for us, actually. Yeah, I'll probably leave that. <laughs> I, I just looked at that and thought, eh, second thoughts. <laughs> okay. Let's just get Buddha Gupta taking the other. He's got this one guy here. Okay. Yeah, let's head towards this uh, gold stream and just see what is there. Gradually uncovering stuff. Let's keep away from that force there, look. 
Yeah, we've got, um, there's not just one de uh, great demon lord or whatever it's called, there's two. There are, there are two running around. And there was one that came through in the first wave and there was what there was one that either came through in the second once the gate opened the second time or it was already there and he was just he came back to you know take the sinners to uh to that particular to to that gate okay but up to canal do the sapphire summon right and I'm gonna move in and carry on with these guys i think Okay, we've got some long deads. Now, that colour's interesting. That must be another faction. I think. Alright, we've got green kobolds here, so though we can take those out, we just need a bunch of we just need some bandar to do that. Or a battlefield wipe spell. Okay. We've got to kind of loiter around that area now just to make sure that we don't lose uh, we don't lose that uh, gate. Let's start summoning troops. Let's start recruiting troops because I missed out on that. So I've actually got an elephant available now. The elephant's pretty good. The problem is, wow, yeah, it's got a lot of hit points. Actually, the elephants are probably really good in this compared to Conquest Felicium. So, oh, we're ambushed. Yeah, let's get these guys kind of loitering around here. Now, we, um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring... If we can get Musa back, we'll bring him back as a, as a scout again. Hmm. Okay, let's start recruiting some troops, so... Yeah, having having some troops in uh, in the bank, so to speak, is never a bad idea. Oh, face spiders! Oh, we're not going to survive this one. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, we're going to get some more heavy bandar archers up here. These are a very very good troop. Very very good. Having some on the front line, uh, you, I mean, the front line troops are also really good. We, we don't need them in this case because they're not going to help us a whole lot, to be honest. But could actually get another leader up. I think I might do that. Yeah, let's see if we can get another leader up. Okay, we've got another Nagaraja. Probably don't need him. But that's okay. He can just he can just hang out with us. So but I might actually just put him under Buddha Gupta. Okay, Moose has been um, ambushed as well. Let's just go up here. Oh, we found one, two, three, four griffins. Yeah, more of these long dead with this interesting colour. I think that these must be one of the NPC factions. Let's get uh, Bandarashes up in some of these other places. Well, we've got the money. <clears throat> Ambushed in a plane. Oh, it's just a couple of uh, uh, disembodied spirits. And then we've got uh, this battle against these griffin. We're not going to do anything here, guys. <laughs> no. Oof. Gary stuff. Okay. Uh, let's get some heavy bandar warriors on the front. Just so we can clear some chaff away. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll go and kill those. We'll go and kill those uh, kobolds. Get a bunch of chaff here, I think. Yeah, we've got to wait a little bit longer to get some rubies. Yeah, we are buying rubies here. Oh, we don't, there aren't many... I don't think there are any ruby mines around here, are there? We have got a gem deposit with some rubies. Um, there's a silver stream we really need to go and grab. Yeah, that's, that's something we want to grab. All we need is a commander here, and we can probably go and find that. I don't know what was in it. Um, was that the... That might have been the... All those... Uh, pale ones. No, the pale ones are here. I think. So where were... Uh, it was down here that the uh, the kobolds were. 
get where it was now, somewhere around here. There, that's where the kobolds were. Okay. Okay, so Son of Benjamin Key and oh, we recruited here this turn, so we can't recruit there. Let's just get some Makata up there in the uh Okay, we're gonna grab this. Oh look what we've got. We've got an infestation of Empire troops. We should kill those. Now Um Let me think about this. Yeah, we, we do want to kind of, we want to keep these guys in this sort of rough area. The problem is if we do get jumped on by a greater demon, then we're, we're toast. And it's likely that that greater demon is coming up this way. Um, eventually it will come up this way. Got a troll and some goblins here. You know, see if we can pick these back up and then we're going to head up here. We do need, a, we, we, not, we need some scouts around that area. Yeah, let's get some more of the heavy bandar warriors. Then we'll, we'll go in and try and take this out. We're going to lose a lot of troops. We're going to lose some troops here. Hopefully the uh, spells will start kicking in before we do lose too many though. Um, probably should have left the Angiri out there, but never mind. Whatever. Okay, Musa. Let's go and see what's up this direction. And just clear some of the, roll some of this fog of war back. Oh, here he comes. Ah, oh, there's two of them. Okay, let's see what happens here then. Okay, so we were attacked in this tower. I don't think we can survive this game, this battle, guys. Okay, these are, uh, these are doing quite a lot of damage. We might actually kill some demons at least if we lose our um, Bandaraja. Come on. Yeah, that guy picked up that, that really, really strong magic item. That did not help at all. Yeah, all our guys are on fire now. Okay, he got hit by that Angiri guy. Got, oh, sorry, the. I uh, can't even see what he got hit by now. Ah, uh, these guys are just such a pain. Uh, we did kill some of them. So that set them back, but yeah, I mean. It's also set me back, and I think we're about to lose our last army as well, so. We could be we could be close to a game over here, guys. If I if I lose this army, I'm just going to quit because I, I don't think I've got much chance of. Oh, there we are. This is the. Um, I see. So this is the. Uh, this is the central faction of this uh, of this map, the Dark Citadel. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not going to continue if I lose that army. I don't think I think it will just be painful to try to recover from that. So, oh, whoops, Moose has just walked into a trap as well. Yeah, oh, I think this is it, guys. I think I'm probably good. Yeah, if we lose this battle, I think I'm going to end this because I don't think we can we can recover from this. Come on, guys, it's your last chance. Come on, Monkey Maharaja, you can do it. Now, we have got quite a lot of magic. So it'll be interesting to see if we can... I don't think we're going to kill the Great Demon. Uh, this guy is Imanar, the Greatest Devil. I don't, I don't think we can, we've got a chance of harming him, really. Not without mostly benign. Like, so... The thing is about um, Akashic Magic, it's mostly buffs, and you need troops to buff in order to do that. Um, yeah, it's not looking good. This guy's basically a super combatant. He, you know, he's, he's got such high hit points and like crazy stats as well. Now, all our burning monkeys aren't going to do much here, I'm afraid.
Uh, that's it, folks. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna quit this one. I don't think I'm, I can be bothered. <laughs> like, uh, I'm building up another, another force after this is just. I can do it, yeah. It's possible, you know, I could wait for a yogi to come along and then just start doing it, but I don't think that's going to be a very fun game for you to watch because it could take dozens of turns before I even get a yogi. So I'm going to I'm going to call this one a loss uh, and just hand the, hand the society over to Inferno. They can have it. <laughs> they can duke it out with the, with the, uh, with the dead. And uh, yeah, I'm going to restart. So I'll try, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll pick another class. I think, um, I do like the Monkey Maharaja. Um, I think it's challenging to use, but... I think it's really, really strong, providing you don't get a demon. Like, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have ruffle stomped this map if it wasn't for the demon Inferno, I think. Um, because I do... I think some people raised an eyebrow when they were like, Oh, you put Monkey Maharaja as a B class. That, that's No, it's not a strong class at all. And it's like, no, no, it is a strong class. Uh, you just got to know how to use it right. It's, it's a high skill clap class. And I, I think it's a little bit... You've got to be patient with it. And I think when I'm playing on... You know, I'm playing and trying to perform at the same time. I play a little bit quickly. And I think that you know, you've got to you've got to be pay, play carefully. I think it's one of these as well that kind of like um, Bakemono. Um, you really want to separate out the the summoned units that you get quite carefully and use them in different ways because I think that they they've all got their own purpose, just like with Bakemono. And um, I find that style of play kind of more. Well, I don't know why. I just I'm just a little bit less careful. Um, but I am actually playing Bakemono right now offline, trying to learn it because I really like that class. It's really cool. Uh, but like, like I say, like much like Monkey Maharaja, it's kind of tricky. It's fiddly to use, quite tricky. Anyway, folks, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this a game. I think um, I don't I don't really relish the, the the idea of trying to build up again after after losing my main armies to this. And the Demon Inferno is just annoying me now, so I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'll uh, I'm gonna restart, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.